Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to cover a question that I get asked all the time and that is what is the difference between a dream machine or a security gateway and the edge router? Which one's better? Which one do I buy? Uh, which one is better for me? Well, it shouldn't surprise you that the answer is that uh, it depends. As with everything in technology or just in general, it's going to come down to what you're looking to accomplish. And each line has their own pros and cons, and there isn't really one best device between the two, just a little bit different capabilities and a different focus uh, for the equipment. Now, the biggest difference is going to come down to how you manage them. The Unified Dream Machine or Security Gateway uses what's called the Unified Controller, which I'm sure you're familiar with if you watch this channel. Um, which this is just the software that's used to configure and manage anything with the unified name. Now this also includes the access points and the switches, so like unify switches, unify access points. All of these can be managed um, and set up under one dashboard for a centralized management. And now the edge router also has a controller-esque kind of software called UISP, it's previously known as UNMS, and it's called Ubiquity Network Management System, but this is not as intuitive as the controller and it's not really built for configuration. You can think of this as more of a monitoring solution and kind of a billing software for ISPs other than a configuration utility. And also this is by no means required and it's just an additional software options. The edge routers do run software called EdgeMax which is built into each device and you can browse to the individual device and log in much like you're used to on other at home routers. Now I do have UISP installed but Unfortunately, today when I decided to record this video, it doesn't want to cooperate and it might be broken. So I can't really show you UISP, but here is kind of the breakdown from their website. Really, it manages ISP endpoints and you can uh, create tra uh, traffic bills and stuff for different clients. It's, it's really set up for managing an ISP network. It's not like the controller at all, except for that you can do some configuration here and there with it and then contrast that to the Unify controller, which you're all probably familiar with. So that clears everything up, right? It's just as simple as controller versus a built-in interface. Well, not really. Uh, that just kind of tells us absolutely nothing about which device is better for our needs. However, I will say that if you already own Unify devices and you're already in the Unify controller, you might want to lean towards a dream machine or something like that just to keep everything under one management umbrella. Now this doesn't mean that you can't use both Unify access points and an edge router together, personally that's what I do, but if you're used to the controller and you're used to managing everything through that one interface, it might be best uh, just to stick with that, unless you don't mind things being just a little bit more complicated. Alright, so let's get down to the real differences between them. So this is where a lot of people who are kind of well versed in networking are going to notice the biggest difference. Now, the controller is great, everything is under just one dashboard, all the settings can be changed, pushed to many devices at once. This seems awesome, but if you're not really used to working with an SDN, which is called Software Defined Networking, and that's basically what this controller is, um, then things can get a bit confusing if you're not used to working with it. Also, there's a lot of advanced features that the Unify hardware may support, but you're not really able to configure it with the controller. So basically, if there's not a menu for whatever feature it is that you're looking for, then you're probably not able to configure it without going through a lot of hassle. Now, what I mean by hassle is that you can log into a command line on the Unify devices. However, the main caveat is that any changes you make to the command line are going to be overwritten the next time the controller makes a change. So while there are features here and there that you can enable by doing this through the command line, it's, uh, it's a real pain because every time the controller updates, then they get overwritten and you got to go back in and redo all those commands. Alright, so what are these advanced features that I'm talking about? What, what features are we missing out on? Well, I'm just going to name a few. but Protocols like MPLS, <laughs> which you're really never going to use at home, or high availability protocols, load balancing stuff like VRRP. Um, alongside that, more advanced routing protocols like advanced OSPF, BGP, anything third party really, the edge router. It uh, allows installation of like third party VPN software like WireGuard. While the Unify devices are just limited to what you can configure in the controller, you're not going to be running MPLS, BGP, 
or wire guard or any, anything custom on a unified device because you're really limited by the controller. But basically these are just a lot of features that most typical users aren't even going to think about touching and they're not readily available on the Dream Machine. And this is why the long story short version of this whole video is basically if you want to tinker or you're an experienced networking person then you might want to get an edge router. And if you just want to set it and forget it then get a Dream Machine. But we are gonna go even deeper than that. Let's talk about security features uh, right now. So while there are some features on the Edge Router that the Dream Machine doesn't have, the same is also true in reverse, especially when it comes to security features. Now the Dream Machine is essentially an all-in-one device. Um, it's kind of designed to be a network gateway with threat management, and you'll notice in the controller you have the ability to turn on advanced security features like IDS, IPS, GOIP filtering, traffic filtering, all kinds of stuff. Now most if not all of these features are not available on the edge router, and this mainly comes down to the hardware. CPU in an edge router could not possibly handle IDS, IPS in real time. It wasn't designed for it. Dream Machine, on the other hand, has a pretty good processor and all of this is built in. It was made to run these security services. And on the Edge Router, what you have is a basic firewall. But that is it. You can create rules, you can secure your network, but it's not going to actively monitor any traffic and take dynamic action on it. It's going to be, do I let it through? Do I not let it through? It's a basic firewall. Now let's talk about the hardware differences. Um, most everything I've talked about now are the main differences, but I'd be missing a lot if I didn't talk about the hardware itself. And this is one of the main reasons that one device is able to do more or less than the other. The Edge Router line has fairly limited processing power. Now the Edge Router X CPU is pretty much abysmal and it'll seriously hinder throughput with any advanced features, even like quality of service enabled. And the Edge Router 4 is quite a bit better, but it's also nowhere near the hardware performance of the Dream Machine Pro, for example. Now, taking a Dream Machine Pro as our example, it's basically a full-blown computer with awesome uh, CPU, RAM, and you can even get a hard drive in it. It has the resources to run advanced features without compromising the performance too much. And we can see on the spec sheet, here somewhere that it's capable of, uh, yeah, here, 3.5 gigabits throughput. Now, these are estimates that is affected by the security features, but that is quite a bit more than the Edge Router. Now, this may seem like I'm saying that the Dream Machine is quite a bit better than the Edge Router and that the Edge Router shouldn't even be considered, which brings me to my final talking point, which is the price. The Dream Machine clocks in around 300 US dollars and the Pro version comes in almost 400 US dollars. So in contrast, if we look at the Edge Router, the Edge Router X can be had for, well it was $49 but now it's $59 apparently, and that's a massive difference. And the Edge Router 4 brings things a little bit closer to $200 but it's still cheaper than the Dream Machine offerings. Now one caveat to this that I have failed to mention and that's the Unify Security Gateway, but I really wouldn't consider one at this point. It's a bit dated, it won't run all the services, especially above 85 megabits per second. However, it may still be an attractive option for some people with slower connections, like below 50 megabits. Um, it's basically an edge router light hardware wise, but it uses the Unify controller and it has some of those advanced security features that the Dream Machine does. But the price of a security gateway, I believe last time I bought one, was about $120. It's still more expensive than an Edge Router X, but that may be a more attractive option for some people who don't need all the performance and they don't mind something a little bit older. However, I'm not going to actually recommend the gateway, security gateway, because just because of its age and its performance limitations. So really, the price difference is why the Edge Router line is so attractive to those of us who are familiar and we like to tinker with networking, supports a good amount of advanced features that you typically don't see outside enterprise grade gear, and that gear usually costs upward of $1,000. Now, the pure routing performance on the Edge Routers are great as long as you aren't trying to run any other services against the traffic. Typically, those looking at the Edge Router um, just need a router, maybe a very basic firewall, and you probably have plans for threat management or other features in a separate device. The Edge Router is not going to be your main do-it-all machine. It's just going to route, and it does great for that. And its price is that main point. 
you get a lot for what you pay for as long as you know what you're doing. And this differs from the Unify where it's actually a very great value for everything that it offers. So as far as network edge devices go, it is great and it's very reasonably priced. And this is where the it depends comes into play. Do you need the features that the Dream Machine has? Do you need that threat management? Do you need the additional processor performance? Or do you just need a router? Are you wanting to manage everything from one familiar interface? Or do you mind taking a bit extra time setting up a device that's not managed by a controller? And that's really the main differences between these two devices. Um, I just hope this video kind of clears up some of the questions that you might have about Dream Machine versus an Edge router. It's not really a head-to-head -head battle. One of them is more of an all-in-one all device, and the other one is more of a strict bare-bones router. Um, it all depends on what you need, but generally what I tell people is if you want to mess with things and you want to learn about networking, the Edge router is a great, cheap place to start, and it'll do most of the stuff you want as long as the stuff you want isn't... Uh, heavy on processor. And if you just want something that's going to run your house or your small business even possibly and have a lot of features built in with a ton of performance, the Dream Machine's probably the way to go. It's a real good do-it-all device and the bonus is that you can still use the Unify controller with it if you're familiar with that.